So this is it, part two. We've got the head just about ready for popping off and I'm going to show you why these heads are so difficult to get off. Can you see the growth around these studs? Now if you were to try this in your garage with just pry bars, it would most certainly wreck the mating faces. So what we've done is we've used our big pulling tool, got the head just about ready to lift off, we've had to use inserts, we've wound all these back, inserts in so that we can get the height and now what we're going to do is our lifting eyes on top of the puller we're going to use that so basically it's a one-man operation just to lift the head right off of the block give it a wee shake every now and again just to make sure it's all loose and there we go she's off one-man operation the whole way through Look at the state of those studs. Now, without that puller, I don't think we would have got this head off. The growth around those studs, there's no way that we would have done it with pry bars. Not without breaking something. So here we have, this is underneath of the head. No damage whatsoever to any mating face. Even the gasket comes away intact ready to be stripped down and cleaned thanks to our handy little puller here at King Cow Classic Cars so here we have our V12 out of a Series 3 E-Type ready to be stripped down and now rebuilt no damage whatsoever what a cracking job